بتوجيه من حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بمشاركة مملكة البحرين في القمة الافتراضية لحركة عدم الانحياز التي دعا إليها رئيس جمهورية أذربيجان رئيس الدورة الحالية للحركة فخامة الرئيس إلهام علييف ومثلا لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه قام سمو الشيخ محمد بن مبارك آل خليفة بإلقاء كلمة نقل خلالها تحيات جلالة الملك إلى فخامة الرئيس إلهام علييف ولأصحاب الفخامة والمعالي والسعادة رؤساء الوفود المشاركة مع تمنيات جلالته لأعمال القمة بالتوفيق والنجاح Your Excellency President Ilham Aliyev President of the Republic of Azerbaijan Chairman of the Online Summit of the Non-Aligned Movement, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is my great pleasure to participate in this important conference, having the honor to represent His Majesty, King Hamad, bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I want to start by conveying the thanks and appreciation of His Majesty the King to His Excellency Ilham Aliyev for convening this extraordinary summit along with His Majesty's regards to the participating heads of delegation wishing this meeting every success in its important task. This online summit takes place under extremely challenging global circumstances, unprecedented in our modern history, due to the spread of the new coronavirus, COVID-19, and its human, economic, and social damage, which will affect every country and people in the world. This international challenge underlines the importance of efforts to discuss, consult, and cooperate on the regional an international response to this pandemic in order to reduce its impact and effects on all humanity. The Kingdom of Bahrain is participating today, underlining its support for the goals of the non-aligned movement and reaffirms Bahrain's respect for the movement's contribution to the international peace and security. Further, the movements work to achieve progress, development, and stability are fully in line with the kingdom on beliefs, values, and international commitment. Since joining the non-aligned movement in 1972, the Kingdom of Bahrain has made clear its support by enhancing its role and contribution to the movement's activities and work. This support is based on the great strides Bahrain has made and continue to make in areas such sustainable development, di dialogue among civilization and culture, combating terrorism and promoting coexistence fraternity and solidarity of all humanity. Your Excellency distinguished participant, at this very outset of the coronavirus outbreak, the Kingdom of Bahrain recognized the risk the pandemic presents both regionally and internationally. Under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the the kingdom has therefore taken pioneering and 
proactive efforts to confront the pandemic through its precautionary and preventive measures, Bahrain has been able to contain the pandemic by efficient contact tracing the isolation of cases in well-equipped quarantine centers and intensifying awareness campaign on prevention measures, all of which have contributed to controlling the pandemic and reduce its spread <laughs> and, its, and its impact. The efforts made by Team Bahrain, the various sectors of local society and volunteers of all specialties have played key role in responding to the pandemic transparently and effectively while providing free and comprehensive medical care to the citizen and residents alike. These measures have been recognized internationally by both the World Health Organization and by many countries around the world. They build upon the Kingdom of Bahrain's experiences in health, human development, and rapid respect. And through this summit, Bahrain underlined its readiness to share these experiences with other. In addition to these health measures, Bahrain has also undertaken substantial steps to support its national economy and mitigate the economic and social impact of the pandemic. To this end, it has launched a generous financial stimulus package, paying private sector employees for three months and paying utility fees for the same period in addition to exempting companies from various fees and loans to restructuring cooperation with banks and financial institution. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, the non-allied movement was founded in the midst of the Cold War when the world was threatened by untold global destruction among the movement's objective was to avoid this fate and to maintain international security and peace. At today's summit, the movement stands together in the face of the common enemy, pandemic, which threats us all and which has created distance not only between states and nations, but among members of the same family. A pandemic which has affected people's life and livelihood across the world and abruptly halted what used to be an open, interconnected global village. Since its establishment, the non-aligned movement cooperation has achieved numerous successes and it has presented pioneering and creative initiatives for the good of the humanity. As we meet today for a noble humanitarian goal, the Kingdom of Bahrain calls for the movement to build on these achievements by working toward the following recommendation. One, developing a proactive global st strategy to monitor epidemics in order to fully pre prepare and quickly respond to them in the future. Promoting scientific research centers for peaceful purposes in the collective international framework of transparency and clarity. Assisting developing states in building and developing their infrastructure, particularly in health and education in order to better defend themselves against epidemics and infectious diseases, 
while also helping to provide food and medicine to countries in need of such assistance. Supporting the World Health Organization and its efforts to fulfill its role to serve all mankind. Excellency, distinguished participants, in closing, may I renew the Kingdom of Bahrain thanks to Your Excellency, Mr. President, for your invitation to this summit and underline our deepest respect and appreciation for the extraordinary efforts and great sacrifices of the national and international frontline medical staff fighting the pandemic with the help of God and through our joint cooperation. Bahrain is confident that we will overcome this crisis and its far-reaching consequences. May I therefore reaffirm the Kingdom of Bahrain's support to the Nanalai movement and our determination to work together with the member states for benefit of all. Thank you and peace be upon you.